Hey everyone, welcome to this brand new course on machine learning. Now, my name is Najiket Murthy and I'll be the instructor of this course. And to give you a brief idea about me, so I'm a data science and ML ops manager working in this field for more than 10 years. And I'm currently working in a big four consulting firm and I'm certified in AWS machine learning. And I've trained more than uh, 20,000 learners through the live boot camps. So that's about me and I'll be with you in every step of the way. Now, this is a special course. Now in this course, I'll be teaching you the machine learning in a practical way where I'll be breaking down the concepts into a simple format where you can digest it and apply it so that you can follow along with me irrespective of your education background. It does not matter whether you're from programming background or from a non-programming background. So as you would experience as we progress in our learning journey, you will first and foremost understand machine learning is easy. Anybody with simple common sense can follow along with me and enter in this most in-demand field that is machine learning. Now the reason that I'm confident because so I've trained lot of learners where students were able to successfully transition to the field of data science and machine learning. So let's get started and let's first focus on by understanding this simple concept. What exactly is this machine learning? Well, let me talk about at a very high level. At a very high level, when I say machine learning, machine learning is a process where computer or the machine solves the problems, okay? Computer is going to solve the problem and it's going to make the decision like a human being. Okay, that's what a machine learning is all about. So it just solves a problem and makes a decision just like a real human. That's what a machine learning is. Okay, now let's take a step back and let's understand how does a human being is going to analyze something or how does a human being is going to make a decision? Well, the human being or whatever the decision that we take, we take the decision with the help of our previous experience. Do you agree with me? Yes, isn't it? So let's say there is a, a candle in front of you. Okay, let's say there is a candle and if, like you will not go or you will not place your hand near to the candle, isn't it? Now, the reason that you do not place your hand near to the candle because through your experience, you know that if you place your if you place your finger on the candle, your finger is going to burn. Well, in the same way, using the same methodology, we'll be training the computer which will solve the problem just like we humans do. And it does with the help of the data set just like we have got the experience so we'll give the data so that the computer can gain the experience it's a very simple logic guys now you might be wondering okay if this is a scenario where can i implement this machine learning well i can say everywhere yes everywhere machine learning is used or can be implemented so when i say everywhere so here, when I say everywhere, so anywhere you would observe our data, then you can analyze the data. And once you have analyzed the data, you can actually take the decision. Now to give you an example, some of the places where we use or some of the applications of machine learning would include recommendation system. So I'll write down the application. The applications are recommendation system and we can say image recognition we have got self-driving car chatbot so that the famous chat gpt it's based on the machine learning technique and we go in deep it comes under deep learning but for now since this is a first class remember that it's based on machine learning okay it's used in medical diagnosis so here like the list is endless. I'm just naming few, some of the common applications of machine learning. But let me tell you, so we've got the list grows bigger and bigger. Now, when I talk about all these applications, so 
one question that every learner will have in his mind is sir i'm from non coding background sir i'm from education background or i've got more than 30 years of experience in domain a will i be able to learn the machine learning now these are some of the common questions that a learner would have now let me clarify you this in order to learn the machine learning you don't require any mathematics background you don't have to be from the coding background it's easy to understand the machine learning okay so one thing that you have understood as of now is machine learning is enabling the computer to learn by itself okay and this this concept of machine learning it's very easy to learn and it's used in various applications now let's formally define what exactly is this machine learning well if i want to define this machine learning there are some terminologies that you need to understand first and foremost you need to understand about one important terminology that is artificial intelligence we need to define this artificial intelligence so what exactly is this artificial intelligence so just think about it see when i say artificial intelligence it's a general term so here artificial intelligence can be said that it's a set of all task which the computer can make and take the decision so here we have a computer that can take the decision and perform the action that's what an artificial intelligence system is now if this is an artificial intelligence now the question is what is machine learning that's the same question we still have what exactly is this machine learning well when i talk about this machine learning machine learning is a subset of ai that is the artificial intelligence okay here in this scenario what happens is the computer can take the decision okay can take the decision based on data okay so in the ai it can take the decision from the data as well as it can perform the action but in case of machine learning it can only take the decision that's the key difference between ai and machine learning okay that is what the difference between the ai and machine learning now the next thing that we need to understand is or the common question that you might have is what exactly is this deep learning well if i want to define this deep learning deep learning is a subset of machine learning see it's a subset of machine learning here using this technique it can take the decision based on the data set now this uses a kind of a network that's called as a neural network okay that's the main difference between artificial intelligence machine learning and deep learning okay that is the core difference between ai machine learning and deep learning now you might be thinking as okay so how do i understand this or uh, like how can like what is the way that all these systems should work or how can i build a system which can analyze from the given data set so let's understand this see when i talk about the machine learning okay if i talk about the machine learning we can get the computer to make the decision based on the data set now how can we enable okay how can we enable this decision making now in order to understand this let's first think about as how does a human brain would work or how do we as a human brain is going to work see when we think about as human as i mentioned in the earlier part of this video so now the next question is how does human think okay so here when we talk about how does we human think so what happens in the scenario is so whenever we are taking any decision in our life we are going to perform some key activities so what we do is we remember the past okay even though it's good or bad so it is very important for us so what we do is we remember the past okay and then based on our past experience we are going to like get some idea i'm going to say we are going to uh, we 
formulate a rule okay we formulate a rule on the basis of our experience in the past so maybe in the previous example as i mentioned so you will decide that okay i should not go near the uh, candle because it's going to hurt my fingers so you will you are going to formulate the rule now with that formulation of that rule when you come across a similar situation you are going to use the same rule and act on new situation that's what we as a human being is going to do just think about it i'm just giving you a very hypothetical scenario let's say you had a breakup now when you had a breakup on a particular type of person so there's a very high chance that we will remember that past activity and we will formulate the rule and we'll say that okay so i should not be trusting these kind of people and when those kind of people or when those similar type of people will meet us in our life whether it is good or not so we we'll use the same rule and act on that new situation as well even though it might not be true now the same logic we apply it as a human being in each and every scenario whether it is in our college or whether it is in our workplace everywhere so let's assume in your workplace so you will understand or you will get the training when you first join as a fresher for any company then based on your learning you will understand okay this is how the technology is going to work then what you will do you will apply the same rule and you will act upon in a new situation now continuing with the same example now in this course on on my youtube so as of now you are going to learn what exactly is this machine learning now by understanding this machine learning you will build your basics now once you build your basics when you enter your career life as a machine learning engineer or a deep learning engineer or an ai expert you will use this rule and apply it on an enterprise data so just like this logic is applied on our human brain in the same way yes in the same way in case of machine learning just like we have got the remembering the past so what we do is in case of machine learning we will make use of data and just like we formulate the rule by ourselves in the same way we will formulate the rule using the machine learning models and just like we use the same rule and act on the new situation in the machine learning terminology we call it as prediction okay so in case of machine learning we will make use of data set perform the fit on the data set apply the machine learning models and once we have learned from the machine learning model we are going to apply the same rule and act on the new situation that's what we call it as a prediction okay so this is how the relationship between our human brain thinking to the machine learning modeling all right folks so you have understood about what exactly is this machine learning and how easy it is now throughout your learning journey it will all be understanding as okay what kind of data that i can use it and if i'm formulating a rule what will be the machine learning models that are available to me and once i have understood that you will also use that machine learning models and you will apply you will use those models and see as how you can act on a new situation that is how you can generate the prediction so your entire machine learning activity revolves around these steps fit choosing the model and generating the prediction and evaluation of model so that's what a machine learning is all about all right folks so with this we come to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed this lecture now if you liked so please like share and subscribe so that more people can benefit feel free to connect with me on linkedin and i look forward to seeing you on the next session so thank you so much guys